these are those big moments. Mm -hmm. You know it's on the line. We know that this could be the second consecutive walk-off home run game for Impact Gold. That's they put themselves in that position. Mm -hmm. As a defender here, Christy, do you get you gotta, you have to be through the battles a few times to not get a little jumpy in this scenario because you don't want to be the one to boot one. Well, and, and this is the situation with her. She's going to a big school. She, she needs to have the, she's going to the University of Texas, Austin, Long, well, no, I'm sorry, Texas. She's going to Texas. And they're gonna be in situations like this. And for her to be on TV right now in this situation is good practice for her because she's gonna be going to one of the top schools in the country. That's Demi Turner in the box, and she tries to get one down, just trying to find any way to get on board. She'd really, by the look of that, she'd really like to get her teammate Reagan Bunker back to the plate. Reagan has hit a home run in this game. Well, and at this, yeah. I'm, not a big, I'm not a big one-handed bunt type of person. You just don't have as much control of the barrel. Um, the ball's more likely to foul off because it's hard to control the barrel with just one hand. Um, you can't place it as well. You can get out of the box just as fast if you have two hands on than one. Um, and in this situation, you know, I would like to see her hit or power slap. I wouldn't be bunting in this situation. 2-1 count, pay a money pitch at least, and that's going to be a single. Will they send her? Nope, going to leave it at first and third. Runner trying to move up, dives in safely. Now the run trying to score. That's safe at the plate, and we're going to move into third. They're talking about station to station all on one play. Everybody moving up, moving around, and that ties the game at seven runs apiece and the winning run now down at third base. And you can see right here, nice hit, straight up the middle. She comes up. Turner dives in safely to two and the throw to home gives a chance for the run to score. And that's a great call by the home plate umpire. She didn't ta tag her with the, her glove or the ball. It was only with the elbow. So Mariah Garcia, who was coming home, works around the tag attempt. And Selena Duran, the catcher, was having to pick up a low throw. And all she did, all she had to do to work with was that elbow, didn't get a tag on. Well, and it could have, from the umpire's perspective, looked like she didn't have control of the ball when she was tagging the runner. Like, I, she didn't really tag her, but I don't think she had good control of the ball when the runner was coming in and hit her. So he was behind. It was hard for him to see again. Is a good look. Yeah. Love never got so to the So she's kind of still trying to deal with the ball. Still trying to deal with control. And so if she doesn't have control of it, they can't call her out. A base hit or a wild pitch could end it right here. Here's a shot down the line, but foul from Reagan Bunker. And boy, if you could pick a hitter based on what we've seen, and there's a plenty to pick from on the impact gold, but boy, a great spot here to have your three batter up there who's already homered and had a couple other hits in this game, a three for three day for Bunker. Yeah, she's, she's got a chance to win it. And she's seeing the ball well. She's been pretty solid all day at the plate. Really expects her to work the count into her favor at this. It, that's gonna be key for Bunker in this at bat is to work the count and make sure she gets the pitch that she wants to hit and not the pitch that Lacey wants. Well, and you can't really walk her because you've got M Mackenzie here back behind her. That's right, so the, the protection is there. Yeah. You, you, you don't want to see the next batter either, so you got to just deal with what you got and hope for the out. With two down now, it would be international tiebreaker should it move on to the eighth. But it's a three-run outburst here at the bottom of the seventh. It can impact gold, get one more to fight their way into the championship game of the Power Pool Showdown. They would be televised. Whoever wins this one will be on CBS Sports Network again tomorrow. It's a 5.30 Mountain Time, 7.30 Eastern Time start for this championship game, and somebody's going to be decided. We've got sevens on the board now, seventh inning, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, lucky, lucky. Yep. <laughs> Ball sails in. A couple of pitches fouled on the third baseline in this at bat, and Bunker has worked the count full. 3-2 is the count. 3-2 and two is the count, so a big payoff pitch here with a runner at third, the winning run at third. Ball hit hard, and just foul, foul again. Just inside that line, I'll just a little bit more. And She's she used keeps that line throwing. three or four times. Yeah. yeah, and she keeps pulling it. So, you know, maybe mixing up speeds here, pull, put one, you know, throw a change up in there. When she knows she's, you know, three and two count, she's swinging at almost anything close. Mm -hmm. She's not the type of hitter that wants to walk. She wants to get that hit. She wants to be in this position. Here it comes again, the payoff pitch, three, two, two down. 
Ball four, just missed in. First and third now, two runners aboard, but that trail runner doesn't really make any impact here. It's all about that runner at third. Will they put something on? And Bunker we, has been run for in this game and will be so again by Morgan Herzog. And now you have Mackenzie Kerpak up, who last game hit a walk-off home run. So, so a little deja vu. Yeah, absolutely. This is not the situation that the Miners Gold wanted to be in. But they'll have to persevere. And now with a... With